In this video, I'll show you how to create a tripwire funnel in just a few simple steps. But first, let's discuss what is a tripwire. Okay, so what is a tripwire funnel? So essentially, it's just a low entry offer that to entice customers to make their first initial purchase with you and then in future, hopefully, go on to spend more, okay? So with that in mind, the type of things that makes a good tripwire funnel is if it's a software company, things such as a $1 seven-day free trial or if it's a coaching business, then maybe it's just a consultational call or maybe it's some kind of ebook or some downloadable things, right? But it's just a low entry, but it has to be paid for. So whether it's a dollar, the need to um, open a wallet and actually pay for something, okay? So a free trial with no payment required, that's not a trip required, okay? So we just need them to spend a smaller amount to convert them into a customer. And then hopefully, once you've delighted them with whatever it is that you've um, made as your tripwire, then we can get them to ascend and purchase more, okay? So let's switch over to my screen and I'll show you a few examples and how you can actually go ahead and create a tripwire funnel. Okay, so typically with a tripwire funnel, usually you'll see a opt-in page and then you'll be driving them to, from some kind of traffic source, whether that's Facebook, a landing page or whether it's even organic, for example, okay? So there's usually an opt-in page, download this ebook or get this free thing, right? And then after the opt-in page, you'll send them over to a sales page, which is your tripwire offer. Okay, so usually it's between seven to $49, okay? So you don't really want it any more than that. But again, it depends on your industry, okay? So I don't know, if you're in finance, maybe $500, for example, is a tripwire funnel, okay? So it varies depending on the industry that you're in. So we've got our sales page, then we've got our order form, and then we've got some kind of upsell to send them into our core offer, okay? And then we've got our thank you page. And throughout this video, I'll show you how you can actually customize your thank you page so that additional offer or you can add um, a post checkout a survey or whatever you want where you can customize each step okay so let's have a look at a few tripwire examples okay so first up we've got gusto okay and i actually became a customer on this particular tripwire okay so essentially you get a week's worth of a meal for a small amount it was less than probably 30 dollars in my case right which is great for a week's worth of food to feed up to four people so this is my first example and then my second example is Shopify okay so usually they alternate between offers but typically you'll see something like a pound for a month or I've even seen three pound for three months okay and it works extremely well just super simple but again the main thing is the customer actually needs to take out their wallet and pay for some amount okay not too crazy and it just needs to be at least a pound for example okay so with that being said I'm gonna show you the type of funnel which I've created okay so so let's head over to our dashboard here. So it's a simple funnel. It's just a basic landing page, right? And we've got our offer here. And then here, I need to reduce the price to say $49, for example. But then when a the customer clicks um, unlock offer, it'll take them directly over to our checkout form, okay? Or we can embed the checkout form here. So I've created numerous different videos where I've displayed a checkout form in a pop-up. So sometimes when a customer clicks this button, then a checkout form pops up. Or I've actually just um, placed a checkout form here. Or in this case, case like what I've done I've linked them over to the checkout form so you've got a few options it's totally up to you okay so throughout this video we'll be using the WeSuite all-in-one at checkout plugin to create our optimized um, order form and also our upsell offers okay we'll also be using WordPress of course and WooCommerce to add our products and for product management okay so just head over to WeSuite.com go ahead and download the all-in-one at checkout plugin I'll leave the link in the description below and with that said let's head over to our dashboard Assuming you've downloaded a WeSuite all-in-one at checkout plugin, just go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Click activate. Once you've activated your license key, it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section. And then from here, we can just scroll down and just make sure we enable the all-in-one at checkout plugin. I've got a free version and a pro version active, okay? So with that out of the way, so we need to actually create a product for our tripwire. So I'm just gonna navigate to all products because I've already created a few beforehand. I'll show you how I went about and created it, okay? Okay, so for this example, I'm using the Athletic Green um, brand to create our tripwire offer, okay? So we've got this AG11 here, okay? And then we've got this AG1 pill form, okay? So this will be our upsell offer. 
So in your case, you just want to click add new product and then I'll show you how I went about adding this product. Okay. Okay. So we just give it a name, add a bit of description and we'll add our product image. So in your case, you'll just click um, set product image or we'll select it from here. Okay. Then we'll add our category. Okay. So in your case, you just click add new category and then just add it here. Okay. And that's about it. Then we'll just hit publish in your case. I'm going to select update and then you'll just create another product for your upsell offer. Okay. Um, we forgot to set the price in. So where it says regular price here, we just set our price in. So I'm just going to reduce this to $49, well, $47. Okay. So let's update this. Okay. So that's updated fine. So we can head back to all products. And in your case, you'll just go ahead and add a new product and this product will be your upsell offer. Okay. So in my case, I've added this product here and this will be our upsell offer. Since it's an upsell offer, I'm going to quickly change the price and we'll say they can get this for one nine seven okay okay and if we quickly view our um, upsell product it's just the same as our main product so we've got the product name we've got product image we've got our category and then we've got our price here okay so if our products added and out the way let's go ahead and create our order form so we'll navigate to we suite and then all in one at checkout okay so in your case you'll just click create new checkout i'm going to go ahead and edit this one which i created earlier okay so by default we've got our default fields right so we've got our billing information shipping information shipping summary order summary and then our payment methods okay so for example here i've just hidden our shipping section and to hide a particular field we can just click this eye icon here okay and it will hide the individual field or the section to add new fields we'll just click on this settings icon here and then we can just drag and drop different fields onto our canvas okay we can also rearrange it so i'm just going to delete this okay if we wanted to break this up into a multi-step checkout we can just click this option here to add a new step okay so i'm going to delete it and we can always rename our step name okay okay so let's move on to our product section okay and i've already added our main products to our checkout form so to add a product you just click add product and then you just search for the product which you've created right so for example i can search for ag okay and then i can add this product here but since i've already got our main product here i'm just going to go ahead and delete this one so once you've added a product you can give a discount right so you can give a percentage discount or a fixed discount off in this case i'm just going to leave it as the default and we're going to let customers pay the full 47 dollars for it okay um so for design Again, this step will vary depending on how you're going to implement your order form onto your Tripwire page. So for example, if you're going to link customers over directly to the order form URL, then the design is quite important. Whereas if you're going to embed the form onto the page, then it's not as important. Okay. So just bear that in mind when you're choosing your template. So we can choose from these templates here. There'll be more added in future. And we'll also give you the option to be able to add a custom design. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to select this modern um, design here. And then for our thank you page, we can choose from our default thank you page, or we can create a custom thank you page and add various different things on it, such as such as loyalty discounts, um, a post checkout survey, and so on. Okay, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and select one of our pre-designed templates. Then we'll just navigate to settings. Then we'll just make sure we enable this. We'll give it a name and then we'll create a URL for this checkout. So again, as I said, if you're going to embed it, then these settings doesn't matter as much. Okay. And we can specify who we want this to apply to. So we can set it to everyone, guest users, which are users logged out of our site, a specific user role or a specific user. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it as everyone for our place order button so we can add a custom place order button whereas here we're saying pay now okay or we could say something like complete purchase it's totally up to you and um, close the checkout form after x number of orders so we're going to ignore these for now but they're there in the event that you want to close your checkout um, after x amount of orders or after a specific date okay we can enable Google auto address complete. I'll leave a link on screen to our in-depth video showing you how to actually get your Google address API. Okay. So with that said, let's click save changes. Okay. And then I'm going to navigate back to our general settings area. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click get short code. Okay, so I'm getting a shortcut because we might want to embed our checkout form on our landing page. Okay, or we can just link them directly over to the URL. So if we click on this action tab and then we click view, we'll be able to view the checkout directly. 
and this is how our checkout looks okay so as i said we can either embed our checkout on the landing page or we can link them over to this url okay so let's move on to creating our landing page so to do so we'll just click add new and then select page okay and then we can create our custom landing page using either the default um, wordpress editor or we can use our preferred page builder such as elementor divi eva builder or any other others okay so i'm going to just select um, divi builder for this particular tutorial okay and we can start creating a page from scratch or we can use one of the pre-made templates or we can use one of our existing um, layouts okay that we've saved um, so if we click pre-made you can see they've got over 2000 different templates so you'll most likely be able to find a suitable template okay it's the same with the other templates builder as well there's loads of templates to choose from i'm just going to actually select my existing page i'm going to select this landing page here okay Okay, so this is our landing page. So we've got a heading here, featured image, and then we've got a strong call to action dotted about the page, okay? And we can customize this because this product is actually $47 instead of adding a call to action here um, that links them over to our checkout form. We can actually go ahead and add a text area. Okay, and then within this text area, we can paste the short code, which we've copied, okay? And the short codes for our checkout form. Okay, so here you can see our checkout forms displaying as it should. And we've also got our upsell offer included. So again, this is optional, right? So we can display our checkout on this page, or we can just link them over to our order form page, okay? I'm gonna link them over to our order form page for this tutorial, as I said, you've got the option right let's go ahead and delete this and then all i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the url of our checkout page okay and then for our call to action button we can just go ahead and edit it okay and then we can just link them over directly to our checkout page and then if we were to publish this then this would be it for our tripwire offer okay so i won't go into too much detail in terms of designing a page because personally i recommend starting from an optimized template and i'll leave a link in the description to a few resources that will show you a few high quality template designs right whether you're using element or divi or some other page builder you'll be able to quickly find a suitable template for yourself Okay, so with our Tripwire page designed and out of the way, let's go ahead and actually create a upsell offer that we're seeing here on the checkout, okay? So let's head back over to all-in-one checkout, okay? And where it says order bump, we'll click on this. So in the future, it will say campaigns because we'll allow you to create um, post checkout offers and so on, okay? All within this tab here. So you'll be able to see various different offers here, okay? So in this case, let's just go ahead and click add order bump since i've already created one i'm gonna go ahead and edit this one which i've already created right okay so first of all just like before we'll just add a product that we want to um, upsell customers on and this is our pill form okay so if you remember we created two products we created our tripwire product and we created our upsell product this is our upsell product here and currently we're actually given a 10 percent discount so in this case I'm going to leave it to full price, okay? So there won't be any discount given on this particular product. And then for the behavior, we're going to allow customers to add this onto their existing offer, okay? So not only will they get the tripwire offer, they'll get the order bump as well. Okay, so when we move on to design, here we've got the title, right? So this is the offer title, which is here. We've got a description, which is here. And then we've got our call to action, which is up here, right? So they need to tick this option to add this upsell to their basket, okay? And we can show the product image or we can hide the product image. We can also modify the style and there'll be more designs as well coming in the future. So now we can move on to conditional rules. And then from here, we can create and stack various different conditions, right? In this case, I've just created a basic condition which says if a customer checks out with a product from this particular category, which I've selected the supplement category, then we will show them this upsell, okay? So in your case, you'll just click save changes. And then whenever a customer checks out with a product which matches the rule that we've just created, then they'll be able to see this upsell offer as well. There's one thing which I skipped over, which we need to quickly clarify. We've actually got the option to specify where this order bump shown, okay? So let's head back here quickly. 
let's edit this order bump and then here where it says display position so we can show it above the order summary below it or above the payment gateway below the payment gateway or above the order form okay and then for the priority we can set our rule priority in the event that a customer matches multiple upsell offers okay and that's a quick overview of how to create an effective tripwire funnel in WordPress in just a few simple steps. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.